Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll learn how to determine the difference in latitude or DLAT and the difference in longitude or DLong. But before we do that, let's first understand two important reference lines, the equator and the prime meridian. The equator and prime meridian. The equator is the imaginary line that divides the Earth into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. It is marked as zero degrees latitude. Meanwhile, the prime meridian is the line that divides the Earth into the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. It runs through Greenwich, England, and is marked as zero degrees longitude. Every position on Earth is measured in terms of latitude and longitude, using these two lines as the starting point. DLAT or difference in latitude. Now, let's talk about DLAT. DLAT or difference in latitude is the north-south distance between two positions measured along a meridian. Here are the steps to find it. One, write down the latitude of both positions. Two, if both are in the same hemisphere, north or south, subtract the smaller value from the larger. Three, if they are in different hemispheres, add the two values. Four, finally, determine the direction. If the vessel is moving north, the DLAT is north. If the vessel is moving south, the DLAT is south. Now let's answer the following examples. Example number one. Point A, 15 degrees north. Point B, 30 degrees north. The difference is 15 degrees. Since the vessel is moving north, the direction is north. Therefore, the DLAT is 15 degrees north. Example number two. Point A, 45 degrees north. Point B, 15 degrees north. The difference is 30 degrees. Since the vessel is moving south, the direction is south. Therefore, the DLAT is 30 degrees south. Example number three. Point A, 15 degrees south. Point B, 30 degrees south. The difference is 15 degrees. Since the vessel is moving south, the direction is south. Therefore, the DLAT is 15 degrees south. Example number four. Point A, 60 degrees south. Point B, 30 degrees south. The difference is 30 degrees. Since the vessel is moving north, the direction is north. Therefore, the DLAT is 30 degrees north. Example number five. Point A, 60 degrees south. Point B, 30 degrees north. Since the points are in different hemispheres, we add them together, 60 plus 30 equals 90. The vessel is moving north. Therefore, the DLAT is 90 degrees north. Example number six. Point A, 40 degrees north. Point B, 20 degrees south. Since the points are in different hemispheres, we add them together, 40 plus 20 equals 60. The vessel is moving south. Therefore, the DLAT is 60 degrees south. D-long or difference in longitude. Now, let's talk about D-long. D-long or difference in longitude is the east-west distance between two positions measured along a parallel of latitude. Here are the steps to find it. One, write down the longitude of both positions. Two, if both are in the same hemisphere, east or west, subtract the smaller value from the larger. Three, if they are in different hemispheres, add the two values. Four, if the result is more than 180 degrees, subtract it from 360 to get the smaller arc. Five, finally, determine the direction. If moving east, the D-long is east. If moving west, the D-long is west. Now let's answer the following examples. 
Example number one. Point A, 20 degrees east. Point B, 40 degrees east. The difference is 20 degrees. The vessel is moving east. Therefore, the D-long is 20 degrees east. Example number two. Point A, 80 degrees east. Point B, 20 degrees east. The difference is 60 degrees. The vessel is moving west. Therefore, the D-long is 60 degrees west. Example number three. Point A, 20 degrees west. Point B, 60 degrees west. The difference is 40 degrees. The vessel is moving west. Therefore, the D-long is 40 degrees west. Example number four. Point A, 80 degrees west. Point B, 20 degrees west. The difference is 60 degrees. The vessel is moving east. Therefore, the D-long is 60 degrees east. Example number five. Point A, 60 degrees west. Point B, 40 degrees east. The points are in different hemispheres, so we add them 60 plus 40 equals 100. The vessel is moving east. Therefore, the D-long is 100 degrees east. Example number six. Point A, 120 degrees east. Point B, 80 degrees west. The points are in different hemispheres, so we add them. 120 plus 80 equals 200. Since this is more than 180, we subtract from 360. 360 minus 200 equals 160. Since the vessel will take the shorter route, the vessel will now move the opposite direction. Therefore, the D-long is 160 degrees east. If you found this lesson helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our future maritime lessons.